This is the newest Tesla Model 3 Highland, and today we're going to talk about the AI behind it. As part of Tesla's newest holiday update, High Fidelity Park Assist has arrived to its Model 3 and Model Ys. This feature uses Tesla's advanced occupancy network, an AI-driven technology that generates a detailed 3D map of the car's surroundings. It's also the technology behind Tesla's FSD beta softwares. Here is the footage showing the car navigating into the parking space. The visuals you see here, road boundaries, lane lines, vehicles, and their dynamics are generated by algorithms and neural networks running on Tesla's onboard computer, which utilizes eight cameras for full 360-degree coverage. Teslas nowadays are relying solely on camera data without radar, lidar, or ultrasonics. To produce a live 3D mapping of the environment, it also uses color mapping to show you how close you are to the near obstacles. How does Tesla achieve this? If we really think about it, what they essentially need to do is to transform the 2D camera data into a comprehensive 3D model of the vehicle surroundings. But it's not so easy. The Tesla team started out with the image space segmentation method, classifying each pixel in the camera's view as either drivable space or not, based on 2D values. However, effective navigation in the real world requires the car's environment to be modeled in three dimensions. The image segmentation approach, while a start, often resulted in artifacts and noise, particularly with pixels at the horizon, which could disproportionately influence the transition from 2D to 3D space, leading to a noisy, unreliable drivable space representation. The team then explored alternative methods. One such method is to employ depth prediction, where the network predicts a depth value for each pixel, creating depth maps. These maps, although visually appealing, present their own challenges when transformed into 3D point clouds. They can also be inconsistent over distances, making it hard to create a uniformed 3D model from eight different depth maps. Recognizing these limitations, the team came up with an innovative solution, occupancy networks. It was presented by Tesla's director of AI, Ashok Aluswamy, in 2022. This advanced vision-based approach is able to process inputs from all eight camera streams surrounding the vehicle to generate a single volumetric occupancy grid. Unlike traditional methods, Occupancy networks evaluate every voxel, which is a three-dimensional pixel around the car, to determine its occupancy status, assigning a probability of whether each voxel is occupied or not, resulting in a cohesive and consistent 3D output space without the need for stitching together independent predictions. Moreover, these networks are designed for high efficiency in both memory and computational resources. Intuitively, you would think that producing a dense 3D occupancy grid might be resource intensive. However, the system is optimized to allocate resources strategically where it matters the most. This approach ensures a balanced resolution across the relevant volume, avoiding the pitfalls of traditional methods that offer low resolution at a distance and high resolution nearby. The efficiency of these networks enables the system to update the vehicle's model of its environment at a speed that surpasses the speed at which the cameras provide images. Now that we know what occupancy network is, let's take a peek under the hood at how it works. The process begins with the normalization of images from various camera streams, mainly to get rid of vehicle-specific variables like intrinsic calibration and lens distortion. Following normalization, these images are processed through advanced image backbone architectures, such as RegNets and BiFPNs which are responsible for extracting high-dimensional image features. 
The next step in the process involves translating these high-dimensional features from image space into 3D occupancy features. This is done using a technique that pays special attention to specific points in space by giving each point a unique 3D code. The system can focus on these points and understand the complex details from the camera's images, creating a more clear 3D picture of the surroundings. However, given the computational complexity of generating high-dimensional features for every point in 3D space, Tesla employs a strategy of initially producing these features at a lower resolution, and then using upsampling to increase the density and resolution of the occupancy data. The occupancy network that Tesla developed is a unified framework for obstacle detection, meaning that the network do not distinguish between what is the reason a space is occupied. It gives instantaneous occupancy and are capable of identifying both moving and static obstacles. But occupancy alone is not sufficient to drive. Say we're driving on the road. We don't want to assume that vehicles driving in front of us are at zero velocity and just slow down. Therefore, we also want to know how the occupancy would change at different times. This allows us to know that the vehicle in front of us will move away by the time our vehicle reaches that location. Therefore, in addition to occupancy, we also need to predict occupancy flow. In order to generate occupancy flow, Tesla integrates camera data from multiple time steps into a single coordinate frame then employing the same upsampling techniques to produce the occupancy flow. This approach provides robust protection against all kinds of obstacles, regardless of knowing what it is. It will simply say that this volume of space is occupied and it's moving at a certain rate. Traditional techniques, which rely on using cubes or other polygon shapes to represent moving objects, fell short when vehicles have unusual extrusions. Using Tesla's approach of occupancy, we're able to get all of these unusual geometries for free without requiring complicated mesh-like topologies. In addition to occupancy and occupancy flow, Tesla also adopted Neural Radiance Field, aka NERFs, which I talked about in a previous video of AI to 3D. NERF is a technology that is used to reconstruct scenes from multi-view images. Tesla's extensive fleet is able to gather precise camera data over time. This data facilitates the creation of detailed 3D reconstructions to further refine their system. They incorporated the results generated by NERF as a loss function within their occupancy networks. This approach allows for an optimization of NERF to run continuously in the background of the vehicle. By doing so, Tesla ensures that the occupancy information produced is consistently aligned with all sensor observations received in real time. But how well does it translate into real-world use? We conducted several tests with the Model 3 to see how the Park Assist handles different parking scenarios. From the quiet streets of residential neighborhoods to the city blocks and spacious empty parking lots, although it is doing a decent job in estimating the 3D environments around the car, we discovered that the reconstructed 3D model currently is pretty blobby and often inaccurate. For example, in this case, it thought there was a trash can next to the car when there wasn't. And in this other case, instead of building the accurate shape of the boxy containers behind it, it thinks it's a blob that represents a car. However, keep in mind that this is just the first version of the software, and this is the worst that it will ever be. Ishak has said that they're planning on doing more improvements to the system. I'm actually pretty excited to see how it improves from here. We're moving towards a world where cars are not just vehicles, but our intelligent partners. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, happy parking.